everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet this adorable, easy little bunny. Now my children have been asking me to make them stuffed animals <laughs> for a while uh, and uh, I thought this little bunny would be a great project to start off with. It's very, very easy to work and it's actually made only from a square of uh, crochet fabric. So I have two sizes here. I have a large bunny and a small bunny. The large bunny measures approximately uh, eight inches long from its nose to his bum. And uh, the baby bunny measures approximately five inches long. So I've excluded the ears and the tail for it. You're going to need approximately 50 yards of a worsted weight yarn. I'm using the Heartland yarn by Lion Brand. It's an acrylic yarn. It's worsted weight. Uh, there's about 250 yards per ball, but again, you're only going to need about 50 yards per bunny. The colors shown are the Grand Canyon, which is this lighter color, and then our Mammoth Cave, which is this darker color here. If you wish, you may also uh, choose to use some safety eyes and a nose or a little bit of scrap yarn to make your nose and eyes. It's up to you. You may also wish to have a little bit of white scrap yarn on hand to make a pom-pom tail, as I did for mine. So these bunnies are very easy to work. You're also going to need a 5mm crochet hook and a yarn needle for pulling it all together. A free written copy of this tutorial is on my website at richtexturescrochet.com. I'll put the direct link for you in the description of this video. So thank you so much for joining me. And uh, while you're here, I invite you to subscribe. Take a look around. This channel is updated every week with free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials. Now, I also forgot to mention, you're also going to need some fiber fill to stuff your bunny with or some fabric scraps, it's up to you. So you'll just need a little bit. Today in the tutorial, we're going to be working our small size, but I'll give you the instructions to work the larger size bunny as well, if you would like. The pattern is worked in rows. And so we're going to start by making a slip knot and working a foundation chain. Your foundation chain for the small bunny will need to be 25 chains. If you're working the large bunny, you will want to chain 41. The small bunny, your square is going to measure approximately 6 by 6. And your large bunny, it's going to measure approximately 11 by 11. So uh, we're going to start 25 chains for your uh, small bunny. And 25. A little bit of a knot here in my yarn. I'm just going to pull it out. There we go. Once you have your foundation chain worked, either 25 or 41, you're going to begin by working a half double crochet into the second chain from your hook, and then half double crochet into each stitch all the way across. At the end of this row you'll have a total of 24 half double crochets. At the end of row 1 you're going to chain 1 and turn your work. For row 2 you're simply going to half double crochet in that first stitch. Your chain 1 does not count as a stitch and then in each stitch all the way across. At the end of the row you're going to chain one and turn your work and you're going to repeat that row. So you're going to work rows of half double crochet stitches until you have a total of 18 rows for the smaller bunny or 31 rows for the larger bunny. 
So repeat row two for the small bunny 16 more times. You'll have a total of 18 rows if you're working that large bunny. Uh, repeat row two for 29 more times. And then at that time, you'll have a large square, fasten off, weave in your ends, and then meet me back here. Okay, so once you have worked a total of 18 rows for your small bunny and 31 for your large, you'll have a square piece of fabric like this one. Fasten off and weave in your ends, and we're now going to shape our bunny. Now, typically, I would have taken a piece of yarn that was the same color as what I was working in, but for the purposes of the video, I'm just going to use my darker color here. But you can take uh, a piece of yarn that's the same color as your fabric. You're then going to take your yarn needle and thread your yarn through it. You're then going to sew a um, running stitch across the center of your fabric. So for the baby bunny, for instance, we have 18 rows. I'm going to count down nine rows. And then starting at the edge, I'm simply going to work a running stitch all the way across the center of my bunny. I'm not going to join the yarn anywhere. I'm just going to leave a little bit of a long tail, but you want to run it all the way across to the other side. When you come across to the other side, you're going to pull it through. You'll want to have a little bit of a tail here through on the other end. And you're going to find the top center of your fabric. So here we had 24 stitches, so we want to count in 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So just in between our stitches here. If you would like, you can mark it with a stitch marker. I can't um, see any stitch markers close by me here, so I'm just going to mark it with my nose right here. This is the center point up at the top. We're going to work our running stitch on a diagonal all the way up to that center point. You want to work this seam fairly straight all the way up. You, there's no need to pull it tight at this point. We're just going all the way up to that center point. Once you're there, you can move your stitch marker. You're then going to continue working your running stitches and you're going to work down to the place where you started here on the opposite side. So again, just working your running stitch all the way down on a diagonal. To the other corner. just like so. You can leave your needle attached, but you're going to have a triangle shape here worked in your running stitch. Once you have the triangle worked, uh, if you are going to add safety eyes and nose at this time, you're going to want to do that. So I did use a little bit of felt to help hold them on. And you're going to simply add your eyes and your nose uh, to where you would like to go. It, they're going to be placed inside that triangle. 
and to get the placement right you may want to carefully just place them in before you secure them I have a feeling I'm going to want to move that one in a little bit more and inside this triangle that is going to form the head of your bunny so if you want to just test it out before we stuff it just gently pull your two little threads so you can kind of see where they're going to be placed on the other side now if you want to rearrange them at that point you can make them a little bit more even Okay, that should be good there and then once you're happy with their placement you can add uh, the backs to them I'm going to try it just right here there's one and then my other eye of course popped out before I could could secure it so I'm going to secure my nose here while I can just like so there we go Here, a nice snap and then let's put this other eye on here that's looking pretty good I'm just using the felt or you could use a piece of fabric just to give it a little bit more security so that the eyes don't pull through the looser fabric of the yarn so once you have your eyes and your nose placed if you're going to do uh, the safety eyes you're going to take a little bit of fiber fill and just stick it in the center of your triangle next pushing the triangle forward you're going to gently pull the string forward I might have a little bit too much fiber fill in there for this little bunny so you're going to keep pulling keep pulling until it closes in around the fiber fill it's going to pull in nice and tight and you're going to pull it as tight as you can get it without breaking that thread if you feel like your thread is going to break uh, don't worry you can uh, always sew it together a little bit at the back so careful not to pull too too tight on the front double check the placement of your eyes and your nose that's looking pretty good and then you can secure it just by tying a knot on the side this is going to be hidden so don't worry about having the knot there too much once again make sure it's tight and pull just like so so now you have your head and the two little corners will form your little bunny ears like so next we're going to take the yarn the end that still has our needle attached and at the back of the bunny you're going to sew the back seam now again if you were using I used uh, a whip stitch and again I'm going to show you using the whip stitch but um, if you are working your bunny you're going to want to use the same color yarn just so that it doesn't show up on mine it's going to show up a little bit uh, just because I'm using a contrasting color for the video so you're going to just carefully sew right along the top of your bunny's back all the way down
Once you have sewn all the way across the back, again, use a yarn that is the same color as your rabbit so that it doesn't show up. You're going to have this little opening down here at the bottom. I'm going to take a little bit more fiber fill and stuff the bunny's body. It's up to you how stiff you would like to make it. Uh, afterward, you, you'll do some shaping just to get the, your little bunny the right shape, but just fill it up with some fiber fill as much as you're comfortable. You're then going to take your yarn needle once again and just around the outside of the body, pull this a little bit tighter, you're going to weave in and out through the tops of your stitches around the bunny's bottom. You're going to work all the way around making sure you push your fiber fill in as needed. You don't want it, any of it sticking out. When you come all the way around back to your first stitch, you're simply going to pull it closed. Once you have come all the way around, you're just going and it, you've pulled it tight, you're going to then uh, fasten off and weave in your ends. If you need to, you may need to sew it a little bit uh, tighter, um, but otherwise you just wanna fasten off and then weave in your ends and trim. You're then going to take a look at the top of your bunny. And you can see from mine here, there is a little bit of an opening. So you still have your other fairly long tail attached over here. You can just use it to very carefully close the back of your bunny's head. Again, you'll be using hopefully the same color so it's not going to show up uh, as much as mine does here. But just simply sew the back of your bunny's head closed. You can then fasten off. And then tuck in your ends once again. And then with a little bit of shaping, I'm going to put my camera back a little bit here. Your little baby bunny is nearly complete. If you'd like, you can make a little mini pom-pom and then attach it to its back. And, uh, and that's all there is to making your little easy crochet bunny. So thank you so much for joining me, and uh, once again, I invite you to subscribe, take a look around. If you happen to make a little bunny or two, be sure to tag Rich Textures Crochet on social media, and I'm going to come by and admire it. Until next time, happy crocheting. Bye.